hey hey I wanted to do a quick video on replacing the plug on a Chevy Volt charger because I had to do it and I figure some of you guys probably want to do it too here's really everything you need uh, a replacement plug a screwdriver um, something to strip wires with this is probably not what I would actually use but it's what I had around right now and a knife like a, like a good utility knife um, or one like this <laughs> and it's pretty easy I've already replaced it here but I'll basically explain what happened so the old one uh, the the actual little plugs were kind of coming loose and it was looking pretty scary it was like all charred around there um, I think it was getting too hot from all of the amperage that it was pulling all the power that was pulling through the plug so Step one was to cut off the old plug, and I just used a utility knife and kind of jammed down through it. I was real careful to keep track of where the wires uh, were going and which you know plugs they were going to, so that I could replace them on, uh, or so that I could make sure they were in the same places on the replacement. Uh, but now that I've done that, I can show you what it was. After that, you strip down the wires a little bit, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then step three is you use the screwdriver to open up the plug and replace it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll show you here how it ends up going. So if you look carefully, you can see the black wire goes to the one on the left if you're facing the plug. And if the plug is going into the wall, it would be the one on the right. Uh, the white goes into the one on the left going into the plug. And, of course, the green goes to ground. It's the easy one to know where it goes. Basically you open up this plug with a screwdriver. You can see there it's pretty simple. It's a few screws there. There's a few screws on the back. You have to put the kind of shield or whatever you call it kind of case on first, loosen it up, slide it onto the wire, run the wires in, uh, then loosen up these screws on the inside. Sorry for awkward camera work. And then you can see you just put the the wires down in down in the uh, different connectors. And it'll crimp in there. It's probably hard to see down in there, but you can see there's it's actually being crimped between a couple of spots. Uh, you can loosen these up and basically just tighten that down and then it's all good to go. Then once that's on, uh, oh, if you wonder where you get one of these replacements, you can get these at pretty much any home store, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Harbor Freight even has some. Uh, I'd say just look for something that looks fairly robust. Make sure it's one that's rated for the full 15 amps of most circuits uh, because you want something good. I got one with kind of a little rubber spot to pull. And, um, nothing really fancy about it. I believe this is the Leviton brand, uh, which is fine. Um, there's, yeah, very common. You can find in most stores. And then once that's good, uh, what I did um, is I would cut some little pieces of electrical tape, if you have it, and put those on the wires on the inside to just make sure that they're going to not short out. Not that they should, based on you know that separation, but it's it's you know better if you can prevent it. So put some electrical tape on there. This is a really bad job. This is just for demonstration purposes. Please actually do it better. And then you line up these holes with the inside ones. Screw this back down, and then screw the. Uh, the ones that clamp around the the cable to you know help relieve stress there. So as you pull it, it's not putting stress on the actual wires, and then you'll be done. So let me put it back together and show you what it looks like. And here it is all back together. See, it looks a lot better than the burned-looking <laughs> one charred with the loose connectors and everything. And uh, it doesn't get really hot like the uh, one was getting when I had it. And I'll show you how I plug it into the wall. So here it is. I use a hook mounted next to the 
receptacle to hang the charger on so it's not hanging by the weight of the plug. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do that. You plug it in. And light comes on, powers up. Angry eyes, happy eyes. Uh, there's my little 3D printed uh, base. Uh, I have it on the left side. I basically took one that was on the on Thingiverse and that was going the other way and mirrored it. So you can find this up on Thingiverse. There's both versions of this um, for hanging both ways. But there you go. Nice and replaced. If you've got any questions or if you think I did something horribly wrong, which I'm sure there's some of you out there, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, below. And then uh, also like and subscribe because that's what you got to do. So anyway, have a good one.